Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the almighty vlog, the E3 vlog, the third in the trilogy, the, the third prong of the trident, one might say the third piece of the Triforce. Uh, and we're here today to of course uh, finish off our discussion, we've done two previous vlogs this week on E3, uh, firstly on Microsoft who right now, right now they're in a bit of a shit situation, uh, they're getting bombarded on Twitter, on NeoGAF, on Reddit, everywhere. The entire internet is fucking rising up in rebellion after they came out and said that whole thing about the 24 hours uh, with online stuff is true and the used game stuff is true. People are kind of uh, pitchforks and torches right now, so they're not in a good situation. You know, we talked about them and their potential E3 plans. We talked about Sony, of course, uh, the, the main competitor going into the holidays because they're going to be clashing with their consoles. And finally, we're here. We're here to talk about the third company uh, as part of this Triforce. Is of course Nintendo, dear to my heart, uh, dear to many people's hearts. Uh, the, the company I follow the most, the company that I enjoy the games from the most, a company that uh, pr just just they're crazy. They're weird. They're wild, and that's most of the reason why people love them because they just do these weird things. They make these strange consoles. They make interesting and really strange games uh, and, and very fun experiences. And so I'm probably going to spend a lot of time talking about Nintendo today because I have a lot to say about them and I'm kind of interested in what they're going to be doing at E3. Of course Nintendo have a very untraditional stance on E3 this year. They are abandoning a press conference. It doesn't mean they're not going to be at E3. They will be at E3. Their presence will be felt. They will have stuff on the show floor. They will have demos and everything and they will have uh, round tables and I believe they'll have the same kind of round tables they have every year uh, and developer stuff and all that good stuff. Which you you won't really honestly feel that much of a change. The only difference of course is there's no kind of fireworks blowing up uh, at a press conference although very ironically when they did the fireworks at the end of last year's E3, it was probably one of the most deflating things ever, uh, having just watched like a 20 minute demo of Luigi's Mansion on Nintendo Land, which no one was interested in. And then we were all like waiting, we're like, one more thing, Reggie, one more thing, and then, nope, fireworks over Nintendo Land. Extremely ironic, because they really didn't go out with a bang last year, certainly didn't. However, we're hoping this year it will be better. We'll hope, we'll, hope, we'll, we'll pray. Uh, and I'm sure that there will be a lot more interesting stuff to talk about because they've already said a lot of things that are certainly going to be coming out at E3. Now, the main problem going into E3, of course, is Nintendo don't have a good foothold in the console market right now. With Wii U, Wii U is failing horribly. There was a month full of sales where Wii U sold less than either the 360 or the PS3 had ever sold in a single month. Added to that, that month had an extra week on the end of it because it was some kind of like leap year bullshit or whatever where you have to have an extra week on that month because of fiscal bollocks. Uh, so they had five weeks in this one month and yet in that extended period of time they still sold less than 360 or PS3 has ever done in a single month. Which is slightly fucking catastrophic, I might say. Why is Wii U not selling? It's a very simple answer. There are no games. There are games, yes, but there are no compelling experiences, there is nothing that makes people say, I want that console, I want to go out and buy that console for this, or for this. They have got a good big franchise on there in the form of New Super Mario Bros. However, as lots of people know, New Super Mario Bros. is not well looked upon by a lot of the gaming audience. It has seemed to be kind of dragged through the mud at this point. Um, very overdone uh, and hasn't really changed significantly throughout its four iterations. There have only been four iterations of New Super Mario Bros. but last year we had two in the space of like less than six months so there is not a good feeling towards that series in general and even though the DS one fucking exploded, sold like millions of copies, the Wii one did as well, 3DS one isn't actually doing that well uh, and the Wii U one isn't of course driving console sales so you have to look at it from the perspective of 
they don't have any hardcore compelling experiences and they don't they haven't really communicated Wii U that well with the casual audience either because most people don't even know that Wii U is a new console for God's sake most people think that it is some kind of tablet add-on and that's completely down to one aspect being the name it was very poorly named Wii U is a horrible name uh, and the marketing and they have done zero of that there has been I haven't seen a Wii U advertisement on television I haven't Partly maybe because I don't really watch TV that much these days, but again, th the push that they had with Wii was so good. That marketing campaign just fucking skyrocketed them. That's why it was so successful, so popular. Part of the reason, at least. Uh, and they've done nothing. They've done barely anything to try and push this system. I think partially because they don't really even understand it themselves. Wii is extremely easy to sell. You use a tennis racket like you would use a tennis racket, you just swing your arm, that's the message. In literally less than a second you can communicate the message of Wii. Wii U is like the opposite end of that, it's much more complex, I mean fucking... Ow! God damn it! <laughs> that was bad guys. My camera's okay, I think. Don't worry about it, we'll be okay. I was reaching for my Wii U gamepad, I was gonna say just fucking look at this thing. Look how complicated this is when you compare it to the television remote of Wii. Like, just fucking analogs, you got buttons, you got some kind of sensor, home, you got fucking back buttons, you got fucking this, that, microphone. It's very intimidating. Of course, there's a giant screen in the middle. So, this is hard to communicate. This is very difficult to, uh, to try and sell because it doesn't really have a clear message as to how it's going to be used in games and what what kind of experiences you can have with it. Of course, uh, Nintendo haven't really done a good job of communicating that through their own first-party titles. Uh, Ubisoft did a decent job with Zombie U, but that got very mixed reviews across the board and wasn't really seen as a super fantastic game. You know, some people it was very polarizing. I feel very polarizing game. But they have they have a, a huge problem with Wii U and being able to sell it. Now what they really need, of course, is those titles. When good games come for Wii U, the system will hopefully pick up steam and it will be able to sell more and third parties will maybe jump on board a bit more. Currently, like EA jumping off, like with saying they have nothing planned, there's no EA Sports titles, uh, Call of Duty hasn't even been confirmed for the system. There was a Call of Duty at launch for Wii U, but apparently Activision don't don't want any more money, so they'll just, they'll just not make it. Uh, so it's, it's a bad, bad state of affairs. We have, however, seen this before. We've seen this very, very clearly with 3DS. And 3DS had the exact same situation where it was priced too high and it had no compelling software and it just wasn't selling. There was, uh, people were crying from the rooftops. Nintendo is doomed. They should leave the, the business of video games and do something else because 3DS is selling so horribly and they're, they're, they're doomed. Look at 3DS now, motherfuckers. Look at fucking 3DS now. Have you seen the lineup of games 3DS has this year already? Luigi's Mansion 2, Fire Emblem Awakening, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Pokemon X and Y? Those four titles alone are so fucking huge for, for gamers and for the mainstream that that system is gonna... system's set for life. It's, it's done. It's over. And 3DS is selling spectacularly right now. And that's all, that's all Wii U needs. It needs games, it needs compelling software that people will want to buy the system to play. And there just aren't any of those. So, what can we expect to see on Wii U? Of course, there have been three things confirmed so far. We have the 3D Mario game coming straight off the press from EAD Tokyo. One of, in my opinion, EAD Tokyo, one of the best developers in the world. Fucking phenomenal guys there. Uh, Mario Galaxy, Galaxy 2 and 3D Land. Three of the best games I've played, just period. Uh, they've developed for. So I'm extremely excited for what they're going to do with the 3D Mario game on Wii U. Uh, and, you know, that, that that's the one that certainly got me the most excited. We've got motherfucking Smash Brothers, guys. Smash Brothers, which a lot of people seem to forget this, but Smash is coming out on Wii U and 3DS. There's a 3DS version, uh, and lots of people haven't really remembered that, that that's the case, which is kind of cool, uh, because I feel like they're going to surprise us with it. I'm not sure what they're going to do with Smash, um, but there's certainly a lot of possibilities with that, because you can take the 3DS uh, and make it... You could, you know, you could do the same thing as PlayStation All-Stars did with the PS3 version and the Vita version, where you basically say they're the same game, and they have, like, cross-play and stuff, and you can use the Vita as a controller. 
I think a lot of that stuff will be implemented into Smash, where you'll be able to use your 3DS as a controller for the Wii U version. It would be really cool. Um, but also, if they did decide to go down a different route and make the 3DS version like a different game, almost, like with maybe some slightly different characters and a different setup, because if you're thinking about it, like the way that the camera zooms and the camera movements work like on a much smaller screen on the 3DS it's a lot more difficult to fit that many players on and, and have that much information going on uh, on big stages and stuff like that uh, when, when you're kind of zooming in that close uh, so I'm not sure how that's going to work how it'll cross over but we'll, we'll see how that, that turns out Smash Brothers not going to be playable uh, that's confirmed it's not playable 3D Mario will be playable Mario Kart will be playable but Smash Brothers won't Smash Brothers will probably have some kind of now here's the thing, they, they said that it's going to have screens. I'm not quite sure how that will translate because it was Iwata saying screens, so maybe he means footage or... I'm not even sure if they've confirmed that, but I'm, I think that there will be some kind of trailer. There has to be because they can't just show like, here's a screenshot of Pikachu, look at how HD he is. Like, doesn't work guys, it doesn't work. They need a trailer, they need something hard-hitting, like the snake reveal trailer. The first time that Smash Brothers Brawl was revealed, the snake trailer was fucking great. They had like, all they revealed Zero Suit Samus, they revealed Pit, uh, they revealed Wario, bunch of cool characters, and then the final reveal was Snake. I think they should do that again, uh, and make it bigger, better, more new characters revealed. Although they do want to save stuff, they do want to hold stuff back, because I, I really enjoyed the Smash Brothers dojo when that was going on. Uh, they they put out loads of information, like every day they'd be like, ooh, here's this new item, and ooh, here's this new assist trophy. Or some days you get like a new character, and be like, really cool, really cool. Uh, so, maybe not a huge amount of information, but we want we want a trickle at least. We want, we want a trailer, we want a trailer is what we want. So Smash is coming. And I also said Mario Kart 7, not Mario Kart 7, Mario Kart, a new entry in the Mario Kart series uh, will be coming to Wii U as well. Um, Mario Kart's probably the one that you can get least excited about. Most people will not be super excited about Mario Kart, just because given the track re but um, bum, tss, the track record uh, of Mario Kart in the past few years, very safe. Very safe, not very, you know, interest. I mean, the game's been fun. Mario Kart's always fun. I always enjoy playing Mario Kart. It's always a good experience, but they have not taken any risks. It's very much akin to New Super Mario Brothers, where they're like, this will sell, so let's just not fuck it up, let's just do what we do and make it normal. There has not been the level of double dash kind of era of experimentation with the series. And it really is a fucking kick up the ass Mario Kart does, because it's gonna be stuck in this rut if it doesn't get itself out of there. Um, Mario Kart is being developed by EAD Studio One. There are five EAD um, Kyoto teams uh, and AD1 deal with Mario Kart so they're going to be working on Mario Kart U uh, and I really want them to do something interesting uh, I was listening to a podcast, my favourite podcast Radio Free Nintendo they're a very, very good podcast, I recommend them I'll put their link down in the description if you want to listen uh, and there's an idea brought up that you could do some cool stuff with, you know, with the gamepad and someone else playing where you could almost do like asynchronous or a asymmetric, asymmetric's the word, asymmetric multiplayer where someone's r r driving on the track and the other person is using the touch screen to like place items and trying to fuck them over as much as they can. Like just place a banana right in front of them and then they just fuck up and, and spin out. And I think that'd be really cool. Like that sounds like a really cool idea. Uh, something, they, there's so much experimentation they can do with Mario Kart Wii U with the gamepad and integrating it with, with multiplayer. I really hope they, they, they try and do something interesting because, yeah, it needs to be pulled out of the mud this series in terms of innovation, certainly. So those are the three things that have been confirmed. We also have uh, like three or four or maybe five titles that we know are going to be there. Uh, or we, we hope at least. X, the Xenoblade sequel, or at least the supposed Xenoblade sequel, which had a, a huge reveal trailer at that N Nintendo Direct earlier in the year. Uh, people are fucking hyped for that game. I'm hyped for that game. Xenoblade is 
incredible experience. Um, I haven't finished Xenoblade, Blade. I'm nowhere near close. I put like 40 hours in. The game is fucking huge, guys. Like this is gonna take me a time to beat Xenoblade, Blade, but um, I'm certainly still excited for the sequel, and it looks really awesome. So I hope we get a bit more uh, kind of details on that. Uh, I hope, uh, well I don't really hope, but I know we're probably going to get details on the new Good Feel game. Good Feel, the guys who did Kirby's Epic Yarn, now doing something with Yoshi with Yarn. Yoshi's Epic Yarn, Yarn, Yosh, you know, so something like that. Uh, interesting, probably not something that I'm uh, going to pick up, but it's, it's cool to have that kind of game there. Cause it's a more kind of charming and uh, visually appealing game. Certainly in HD, I think that those kind of cloth clothy uh, fabric graphics could be certainly very very cool and we do also have Wind Waker HD <laughs> which we know will be there um, that was announced as well that Nintendo Direct I feel I think so yeah it was uh, I haven't actually played through Wind Waker myself ever I have a huge amount of experience with Wind Waker from watching LPs from playing at my friend's house to watching my friend play it and stuff like that I know Wind Waker pretty well but I've never really played it myself, so that's going to be cool, Wind Waker HD, certainly. We've got, oh, we've got games which should have been out already. Pikmin 3 and Wonderful 101. Launch Window. I, I'm sorry, Nintendo, but I'm pretty sure Launch Window doesn't extend to August of the next year, because that's what we're looking at right now for Pikmin. Uh, it's coming out end of July in Europe and start of August in North America. I, I don't know. Well, you know, I guess you've got to fall back on the old Miyamoto quote of, a game being terrible if you release it early or being good I can't even I can't remember the quote correctly so I'm looking stupid you know that you know the quote you know the quote a bad game is bad forever a delayed game is only delayed until it's finished something like that uh, and then it's good it's good so I hope they've been taking that time and using using it well to make a good Pikmin game I'm not interested in Pikmin myself but I know people who are so it'd be cool uh, and then Wonderful 101 from Platinum. Platinum actually supporting the Wii U pretty nicely with Bayonetta 2 and Wonderful 101. Though Bayonetta 2 is kind of a, a bit of an edge case, uh, seeing as Sega wasn't interested in publishing it. They were fucking hemorrhaging money. Nintendo came in and like, we'll publish this game, we'll make it exclusive. And uh, that's kind of how that goes. So yeah, those, those two games, uh, Bayonetta 2 I think is quite a ways out, but it'd be interesting to hear more details on that at E3. Uh, and then of course, Wonderful 101 probably should have been out by this point, but again, taking its time, taking its time to get out there. So we're kind of, uh, kind of stuck for, for no software right now. That's why the Wii U doing so terribly tanking, no software. So some cool stuff. Also, uh, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. Really weird crossover. Uh, I believe the Atlas are the ones on that game. I don't think intelligent systems are involved. If they are, then I haven't heard of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, they, they're just giving them the license, but it's Atlas who's actually working on developing the game. So that's going to be fun uh, or weird or interesting or something. Uh, I'm certainly, you know, a big advocate for Fire Emblem, but I've never really played a Shin Megami Tensei game. Uh, there are people, you know, don't confuse Shin Megami Tensei with Persona, because Persona is a subset of uh, Shin Mega Ten. Uh, Shin Mega Ten is like a different, it's like the brand, the, the, the kind of, the main headliner, and then Persona is kind of a sub-brand. And so there's the main Shin Megami Tensei series, and then there's Persona series. Uh, so it's not, there's no Persona involved with that. Uh, if you were thinking that's the case, but it's the that main series. So that's going to be a crossover. It'll be interesting. Uh, I honestly, you know, more Fire Emblem the better. I've put in a stupid amount of hours into Fire Emblem, so uh, yeah, more the merrier, more the merrier. So that's what we're thinking in terms of Wii U. And I think I'm pretty sure uh, I can say with 100% guaranteed success, success? With 100% guaranteed confirmation that the entire Nintendo Direct will be mainly focused on Wii U. I don't think they need to focus on 3DS. 3DS is set. I forgot about Link to the Past 2 for fuck's sake when I was listing off those four games. I mean, come on, like, if you're forgetting about a game that large, then you know the 3DS is, is golden. And my camera battery died. Uh, what was I talking about? 3DS, yes. Uh, I was talking about the only thing, the only game that I really want to see announced because I would like there to be some kind of surprise announcement about 3DS. I don't want it to just be Wii U stuff. We do have uh, we do have lots of that coming so I think that the really the best thing for me uh, would be a 2D Metroid. I I fucking love 2D Metroid man like 
any Metroid style game is right up my alley. I was talking about Guacamelee the other day. One of the best games I played this year. And it's a Metroidvania style game. I just, I'm so drawn to those experiences. I just fucking love them so much. Uh, so a 2D Metroid on 3DS. Please, please, someone, someone give this to me. I've been, you know, the rumors of Metroid Dread still hang in the air. I really want this, guys. I really do. It doesn't seem like it's going to be happening, but maybe something Metroid has to come out. You know, you've got Retro's game. We don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're doing Metroid. Uh, maybe we should segue to that because there are a bunch of studios who we probably know are working on Wii U games that we don't know what they're exactly working on. Going through the EAD group, we have EAD1 who are working on Mario Kart. EAD2 are the Animal Crossing team, and they've just finished up New Leaf, so it's unlikely they're doing anything on Wii U. Uh, EAD3 are the Zelda team, and obviously they're doing the Wind Waker HD, and then they'll be working also on the brand new Zelda title. Now, in reference to the new Zelda, a lot of people have been saying, we'll, we'll get a trailer or we're going to get some reveal. Guys, how optimistic are you? I know, I know, you know, you want to be you know, thinking happy thoughts that maybe things can happen with Zelda. I don't think you've realised how long it takes to Nintendo to make a Zelda game. Uh, unless they give it to another company, they take their sweet time. And I would be hugely surprised if anything from the new Wii U Zelda is shown. Hugely surprised. I do not think that that's happening this year. Next year, certainly, but not this year. No way. They have not had even hardly any time to work on that, so... Yes, that's uh, that's that. Uh, and then EAD4, Pikmin 3, they're obviously still working on that. EAD5 are the kind of casual team. They work on the Wii Fits and stuff like that, and they're doing Wii Fit U, apparently. Though we haven't really heard anything about Wii Fit U. Not that anyone cares, because it's Wii Fit U, and why should anyone care, let's be honest. Um, so they're probably doing that. Obviously, EAD Tokyo working on the 3D Mario game. Then we've got Retro Studios. <sighs> Retro Studios, what are they doing? What are they doing? Well, you know, with their history, Metroid is is in most people's mind. And most people are thinking we need some kind of hardcore shooter franchise for the Wii U. And, you know, the gamepad with the scanner, that would be cool. A Metro Prime game fits the bill. It certainly does. It's not something that I would want. Because as big of a fan as I am of 2D Metroid, 3D Metroid doesn't rub me the same way. Wow, that sounded really, really awkward. Uh, 3D Metroid doesn't doesn't get me as excited as 2D Metroid does, and I'm, I'm not really a fan of 3D Metroid in any way, so I personally wouldn't want to see a new Metroid game. I want to see new IP. I would love to see a Nintendo just give Retro free reign and say, we trust you, you've done fucking good jobs on these franchises that we own, Go make a new Nintendo franchise. Go make something different and interesting, and something that perhaps is more Western, uh, with a Nintendo flourish, you know? Because Retro are their lone Western developer. They're the only people they have outside of Japan developing games for them. Uh, first party, anyway. So, something new, something interesting. I would be very excited about that. Now, you could make the argument that Retro are working on Star Fox, or F-Zero, or any of these other kind of left by the wayside franchises, but I think it would be very cool if they're working on a new IP. That would get me more excited anyway. So let's let's see how that goes. But I want a new IP. Probably going to be Metroid, but maybe I don't know. Uh, so what else? Uh, let me have a look. I've got a little bit of a, a list here. We could talk about Virtual Console and Nintendo strategy with Virtual Console. It's, it's still bad guys like it's still bad the Wii U's virtual console is abysmal they have not they have not picked up the slack at all because they're just drip feeding us once again drip feeding us games and I have all these games on my Wii U that are, that are on the Wii partition of the Wii U that I can't move on to the gamepad because they're not available on the virtual console like I've got Ocarina of Time on my Wii virtual console but I can't bring that onto my Wii U gamepad because they haven't released Ocarina of Time or they haven't even announced N64 support for the Virtual Console. What is going on? They announced GBA games for Wii U Virtual Console before 3D... Like, really? It's, it's a bit of a clusterfuck right now. But I think what they are aiming to do eventually is to kind of merge the Virtual Consoles into one so that 
it is a unified platform and so that 3DS and Wii U work together and talk to each other so that you can have the same game over both platforms which would be much better it'd be much more akin to what Sony does with Vita and PS3 and it would just be more convenient a lot of people are also asking them to do a kind of PlayStation Plus type of style thing where you subscribe and you get access to all the virtual console titles or like a batch of them or something some kind of subscription model which I personally wouldn't be super interested in uh, because I like having piecemeal virtual console titles that w ones that I just want to keep and uh, the individual ones that I like to have uh, but certainly for loads of people that's a that's a great incentive and that's another way of you know pulling in some cash pulling in some revenue if done correctly they could have a real success with it so you know there's lots of ideas that, that have been thrown out here and um, and Nintendo would do well to try and try and move forward with their with their online business because they are still very archaic in, in what they're doing, very stuck in the past. And you know, I just got a new PC and I'm now experiencing how fucking great Steam is. Like, there is no comparison between Steam and Nintendo's online infrastructure. It is a fucking millennium away. Uh, they need to sort their stuff out because you know other other companies are doing it a lot better. Not that that's surprising, uh, but there you go. Let's talk a bit about third parties. Um, they're gonna have some kind of third party reveal. I'm getting a text, I'll read that later. They're gonna have some kind of third party reveal, I feel. I don't know what it will be. It'll prob they'll probably uh, reveal the third Sonic game, because uh, they, they just recently announced they have a partnership with Sega where they're publishing three exclusive Sonic games on Wii U. Uh, one of them is called Sonic Lost World. It looks a lot like Mario Galaxy. It's very cool. Uh, and uh, the other one is Sonic, uh, Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympic Games, which is just continuing that franchise. Not many people care about that, but it's a casual franchise that you know maybe drive a few sales on Wii U could help them out. And then there's the third game, and there's been lots of speculation on what the third game's going to be. I think they're certainly going to reveal that E3. What the uh, the third Mario Sonic Cross, not Mario Sonic, and the, uh, the third Sonic game is going to be. And I said Mario Sonic crossover because lots of people have been speculating that maybe it's going to be another kart racer, but merging the universes. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? If they took the Sonic racer and did like Mario crossover, and with Mario Kart they like put Sonic in Mario Kart or something. I think it'd be kind of cool uh, if they did some kind of initiative where they intersected in some way. Uh, I don't know what what else uh, they would have up their sleeve, but that certainly seems like a good idea. So. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to be uh, putting my money on, I guess. And then my memory runs out. What do you know? Everything's going wrong in this vlog, apparently. Camera battery die, memory running out. Yes, it's just what happens when you talk about Nintendo. Something goes wrong. Don't know what it's going to be. It's unpredictable. Something well. Uh, <coughs> where was I? I completely lost my track of thought. I had to transfer everything to my PC. Uh, I think I've talked relatively broadly uh, about what we expect from Nintendo E3, what we want to see. I don't know guys, it's going to be interesting. Um, I guess Pokemon X and Y is something we could touch on because they have said that there will be a Pokemon X and Y based actual like conference or Nintendo Direct. I'm not quite sure what form it will take. It will be some kind of announcement. Uh, either a live show from, from E3 itself or, or a pre-recorded thing, I, I honestly don't know. But expect lots more details to come out from that. Expect quite a few more details about X and Y. I'll obviously uh, try to keep up as best I can with the X and Y news on my channel. Um, I'm also gonna be doing reaction, <coughs> reaction videos to each of the E3 conferences. Um, so those will be going up after each of the conferences happens. So as, as, as soon as that happens, I'll, I'll record something throw it up on YouTube and you guys can see my thoughts uh, <clears throat> about what has just gone down regarding all those. Um, but I'm pretty sure that uh, I covered everything. I don't want to miss anything out is the problem. Uh, so I'm just trying to stall for time, trying to think maybe there's something else I could talk about on Nintendo. But I'm pretty sure that uh, we, know, we know what they need to do and I know what I want to see from them, uh, what will impress me and what will give me confidence in the Wii U as a platform going forward. They certainly have uh, goodwill on their side after Microsoft's fucking troubles with, with all the stuff that's going on with them right now. People are like, you know, if, if Sony and Microsoft both adapt this used game stuff and all this, you know, 
kind of anti-consumer policies, they're, they're being very anti-consumer right now, then maybe Nintendo is the way to go because, yes, it's kind of a generation back in terms of technology, in terms of pure processing power. I wouldn't say in terms of technology because the Wii U gamepad is a very next-gen innovation, uh, but in terms of obviously the box, the, the power inside the box, it's, it's uh, the same problem that we had, is that it's not as powerful. Even though that's the case, you know, people might want to latch on to Wii U instead if they don't feel like the other consoles are giving them what they want. And if Nintendo show the games that they care about, then, you know, it, c it could change their fortunes around quite a bit. We have no idea at this point anything can happen. So, uh, that's going to be that. Uh, I guess let's talk about price drops a little bit because people have been speculating that Wii U is going to drop in price or they'll do something. There was a news article recently that apparently GameStops are revoking Wii U basic sets, uh, taking them off the shelves uh, and not ordering any more or just sending them back. This may mean that Nintendo have plans to cut the basic model from the market, which I feel would be a smart decision. It causes less confusion with the casual consumer when you have only one SKU uh, as opposed to multiple. Uh, and what they could do is they take the deluxe and instead of doing a price cut per se, they just make the deluxe the same price as the basic Wii U. Because in that scenario, they technically haven't changed the price because you could always get a Wii U for that price. But now it's the more upgraded one as opposed to the basic which has been shoved out of the market. Then they could do, you know, that set. They've already confirmed for, for Japanese people that they're doing the Wii U uh, Deluxe set in white so that they can they can have, you know, your normal Wii U Deluxe in white or black and it will just be the, the only one on the market. So people will be fine about that. And uh, I'm pretty sure that, that, that that's probably going to be the case. Something like that. I don't know if they'll employ any kind of ambassador program or anything because unless they have a drastic price drop, that's not going to be the case. But, you know, part of the reason why 3DS blew up um, after its horrible first kind of year or so was the combination of the price drop and of the, the, the games coming out. Because Mario Kart and 3D Land both came out end of that year uh, after the price drop had happened. So it was kind of a perfect storm that led to 3DS's success. Maybe we won't have quite uh, the similar story, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And um, fucking nose is dripping with everything today i tell you guys hay fever has struck me down down and out but hey i managed to give you a lot of talking about nintendo today quite a lot a bit more than maybe i expected but that's what you get when you get me going when you get me talking about this company and and everything surrounding them then you are presented with a long video so i hope you guys enjoyed this uh I just noticed that I have this fucking mouse pad here. All Stars 2005. This is a Mario mouse pad from Nintendo Official Magazine. Which, uh, this is the only mouse pad I had in my house. Because uh, I've never had a proper mouse before. Always had laptops. Uh, so I've never felt the need to use a mouse. I just use the, the touchpad on a the laptop. There you go. That's what I'm using right now. Very fitting. Very fitting. So, what do you guys think? Uh, please do, please, please, please leave comments on what you think about Nintendo, what they're going to do, uh, what kind of information you feel is going to be revealed. What do you want? What do you want to be revealed at E3? What franchises do you care about that you would want to see new games in from Nintendo? Uh, leave all the comments below. We can have a nice discussion about it. Ask me questions. I'll try and respond as best I can. Um, and obviously, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. That would certainly help me. Uh, very much because it means that you know more people can see the video and uh, gives more exposure. So great, fantastic. Uh, that's gonna be me for this week of E3 vlogging. Next week, reaction videos and all that good stuff, and we will see what the future holds. It's very exciting. I'm excited, ready to go, ready to go into E3 week. So yes. Oh well, that was long and arduous and fun. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.